Hi all, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to perform a small video on initial working lab with uh, FMC and FTD. So this is my small topology. I have one PC and this is my FMC and this is FTD and this is my uh, management PC. Uh, I'm managing the FMC by you know by this man uh, management PC and uh, FTD is managing by FMC and uh, uh, in this like you now we will going to create a, a, a rule policy rule uh, like you know to access uh, this PC uh, uh, to get the internet uh, to access the internet from this PC so, so what we will do is we will log into the FMC and we will create a basic uh, rule NAT route and uh, we will deploy that policy and we will try to access the Facebook, Internet and LinkedIn applications so we can uh, reach to the internet. So let's log into the uh, firepower management. So uh, I have already logged into the firepower management and uh, I go to the I mean to the FTD device, device and uh, device management. When you click on device management, you will get this one. Okay, uh, so suppose if you want to create any policy rule, right? So we need to create, edit this one. Click on edit. If you go to the edit, so you can see the device details here. In this device details, you can see general time, license related to the license time and system. And this is the serial number of the system, uh, FTT device. And this is the time, time zone and health of the FTD and management. This is the management and inventory details what is the core cpu is using and the cpu type and what, what is the memory we have assigned to that and uh, suppose if, uh, when you, whenever you are doing any routing right uh, when you want to add any route here so we come to here and we will add a route here so here is ospf ospf version b so so these are all the uh, uh, routing details where you can add the uh, routing details uh, suppose if you want to add a static route go to the static route and click add route so this this uh, uh, will give this tab will give the routing information and uh, suppose if you want to add any interfaces like you know configure the entry interfaces so come to the interface details the tab and here is the interface details and all so in this my scenario so z01 is connected to inside and z0 is connected to outside so first we will configure the z0 click on this small edit button and here we comes like you know a name so if you want to give anything outside outside and if you want to do any descriptions you can forward and if you check this uh, check box so the it will enable that interface click on this one and mode so i don't want to go with i'll put it as none security zone so as of now we have not created any security zone so click on new so this is outside so you can mention an outside interface Okay, so in, in this is in general time. So when you go to the IPv4, so IP type is uh, use the static or DHCP or yes triple BOE. So I am using the static IP. So I will provide a static IP address as 192.168.238.1.1. As per my topology. And you can mention subnet mask as 24. So as of now we are not going with IP6. So if you have any requirements, so you can do this one. You go to the advanced tab. 
in advance we can have an active MAC address, standby MAC address so we are not going to touch anything so this is related to hardware configurations, duplex, auto speed, anything so as we have configured the in general tab uh, we have created a zone and in IPv4 we have given the IP address details click on ok so uh, z0 slash 0 is configured and here we go with the z0 slash 1 0 slash 1 is uh, 10.100 that is inside interface click on enable and mode is I am not going to test that one and here is the new one inside and this is the MTU by default so go to the IPv4 use the static IP and I got this is 192.168.10.100.24.7 So click on OK So we have configured the zones And after that zones you need to click on the save button to save the details Okay, we have configured the uh, interfaces so we need to add the routing to reach the default route to reach the outside interface the outside uh, uh, we need to add a default route towards outside so to go to the static route click on add route here so insert uh, like you know is this is the same as ASF firewall so when we are trying to um, add um, a route towards outside so we need to select the interface so we need to select the interface as outside outside interface uh, route uh, and any IP address add it and the gateway here is uh, nothing is there so we will create one uh, object here so we can give a nice WAN IP and the host is 192.168.238.2 is my next hub okay so it's a host one so i will click on save so metric is uh, one and uh, drought tracking i'm not doing a, a anything so click on ok okay save this changes so you can verify this by uh, logging to the uh, this FTD via CLI. So you can mention like no and password. Show route. As of now, we have not deployed, so it will it will not show those details here. So once we deploy it, right? So it will show this one. So now we will create a policy. Go to the policy tab and here access control in this kind we don't have any uh, access we have only one policy uh, just a uh, heading so if you want to add a policy just click uh, click on this edit button okay once after uh, loading here you will get, get a rules security intelligence http response logging and advance so we are in add rules so click on add rules okay you can provide a uh, name as inside to outside and this is already enabled action is allowed and time range is none so zone is inside click this one add to source this is the source zone and click this outside add to destination zone okay and if there is any specific network from source if you want to allow so you can select the specific network by creating a object uh, VLAN in my case I don't have any user and suppose if you have any users by inside you want to go outside to can allow here applications go to the application this is related to the applications related to ports so which are all the ports you want to allow from this one so you are this is a URL stuff 
so SGT AC so right now I'm not doing anything so inspection so you can select anything like you know in this case if you want to select into an inspection so you can select any security over connectivity something kind of things file policy is not there anything so I'm not doing anything so go to the logging so you can uh, check this box like you know, logging at the beginning connection logging at the end of the connection just for the logging and if you want to have any comments you can add it here connection click on add yeah, I can able to see the rule here so in, uh, in this rule I, can, I have a inside to outside and uh, so this is inside destination is outside so actually uh, so if you want you can add any source uh, IP address detail so we can if you click here edit the button if you have any networks like you know uh, just for adding so you can you can add like you know, click add an object so you can create a line Network. I have a network is 192.168.10.0 network 192.168.10.0 slash 24. You can save here. You can create same thing where it is in my LAN add to the source. Okay, here you can save this one. Suppose if you want to add this one, so you can add the destination network as well. So my uh, access policy is ready. So what next? So if I deploy this access policy, will it work? No, we have to create a NAT policy, NAT rule. So then only the NAT will happen here. So go to the policies under uh, okay before that I have to save the changes here go to the device and NAT section see here I don't have any NAT so I will okay, go to the new policy and fire threat defense NAT so okay here is that so, you can give any name inside to outside not rule ok so this is the FTD device select the add to policy and so click save so here is that like an inside to outside so instead of that you can give an add NAT policy, NAT policy and here we have a NAT rule before, NAT uh, auto NAT rule, NAT rule after so for that uh, I will create add rule uh, NAT rule is like you know uh, auto NAT rule so I can do a static NAT original source is coming from inside LAN that is Okay, so translated source is my destination IP. So we have this one uh, interface objects. Go to the interface object and select the source interface is inside and destination is outside. And translation is my so original is from uh, 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 LAN uh, network and going to the translator to the destination interface and uh, I think is the apart from this I must okay, click on ok ok so my NAT uh, rule is ready here ok so uh, let's save the changes ok changes got saved so now we will deploy this policy deployment ok uh, now it's uh, again so we will select this FTD and click on deploy 
deployment confirmation you have selected one device to deploy are you sure you want to go ahead yes it will take some time so meanwhile i will pause this video and also may when once after the, the screen will go so you can select here so you can see here so, so whatever the changes we have made so this is the show the hide and notification policies so we made a access access control policy and the NAT and IP static routing interface policy these are all the details we have changed so it you can see in the deployment status as well go to this one and task here so you can see start snapshot it's taking a snapshot so meanwhile i will pause this video so once it's complete so then i will come okay uh, so we have one user so i will just log into this one uh, system and i will try to show you that i have already configured the ip address so we'll just show you that ip address and try to ping the google continue continuously ip config Okay, I have already configured the 192.68.10.1 as a IP address and gateway is 10.100 that is FTD pink a dot continuously. So once uh, after deployment of the policy, we should be able to reach the Google from this uh, user machine. So We can check also the in FTD show route. So if everything is there, then it will show the route as well. So as of now, it's not showing. So once after completion of the deployment, so you can able to see the routes here. Okay, we can see that the policy deployment applied successfully. Now we will go to this test PC. Yeah, we can see that the we have a reachability to the Google DNS. So let's try to access the Facebook you can see the Facebook is uh, can you able to see the Facebook login page here CNN international okay so we have a uh, internet connectivity uh, so what were the route net and policy whatever we have done so it's working perfectly so I hope uh, this video has been informative for you and I would like to say thank you for watching.